Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Capricorn for August 2009. This also applies if you have a Capricorn ascendant. Yes, I know Capricorns, Pluto is in your sign and boy, that's rattling many of you. For those of you with the Sun in Capricorn and those with Capricorn Ascendant. I see many, many clients at the moment with these two configurations and many of you feel as though just everything is being changed. There's nothing, there's no one part of your life that is stable anymore. And for you Capricorns, you need that stability. You look for structure. And Pluto, as it goes through your sign, and it's there for a long period, it's a good 16 year period, but always when it comes in at the early stages is when it has its most impact, because that's when it's raising the ground. That's when it needs to get rid of things that don't work for you and don't serve you. So against all that that's going on, we've got Mars in your sixth house, Capricorn. And this means this month, it's there till about the 26th of the month. So it's really a time to put a lot of energy into your work and also into your health. For those of you that are experiencing health challenges, often happens with the Pluto coming into your sign. This is really a time to put a lot of energy and focus into your health and to be quite assertive with the medical profession, for those of you that are dealing with medics, to be assertive and to be clear about what it is you need and you want connected with your health. It's also a time for energy connected with work, with co-workers, with people who you're working with, and for coming up with new ideas and new ways of doing things. Perhaps things have got a bit stale and a bit stagnant and they need an injection of fresh energy. Capricorn, you're going to have that fresh energy this month up to about the 26th connected with your work. After about the 26th of the month, then Mars comes into your seventh house and it joins Venus. Venus is there for most of the month and this means there's going to be a lot of focus for you Capricorns on your one-to-one -one relationships, your personal relationships, your intimate ones and also your business relationships. And it's a really good time for those of you that are looking for love. This would be the time when Venus is in this house when you may well attract somebody to you and somebody who can give you pleasure and with whom you enjoy being. And also with Mars there, when it joins the Venus after about the 26th of the month, you're ready to go out and actually be a bit more proactive than you normally might be. So this is a good time, anything connected with relationships, when Mars comes and joins that Venus, just make sure that you don't get into confrontations. Um, often Capricorns, you see things a little bit black and white, and when Mars and Venus are in that seventh house, things may need to balance out a little and you may need to compromise just a little with some of the people in your life who are dear to you. We've got the sun in the eighth house for you until about the 23rd of the month. And it's going to be a time for you, Capricorn, where you must get your finances in order. The sun is shining a light there until about the 23rd. So this is important for you to look at anything to do with your will. If you haven't written a will, it's time to do it. To check your will if you need to. To look at anything to do with your banks your investments, your insurance. It's a time to shine a light on it. The sun is saying, right, is this working for me? Do I need to set some new goals? Do I need to do something differently? Do I need to get some other advice? Do I need to get some different advice? Make sure you're looking around and you're opening up your horizons. Very important to do, Capricorn. Sometimes you can be a little bit narrowed in the way you're seeing things. And I encourage you to open up to new things connected with your finances and particularly maybe looking for somebody else who might advise you and help you with your financial situation. Because everything's up for grabs at the moment, I know it is. The sun moves into your ninth house after about the 23rd of the month. And Mercury is in Virgo there as well, along with Saturn, which has been there for a while. So for you Capricorns, this is a time with Mercury in Virgo for you to create that needed structure in your agreements, in your communications, in things that haven't quite come together for you structurally yet, 
you'll find they really come together for you this month. Communication should be easier. You should be able to get agreements in place that maybe have eluded you. For those of you involved with the law, this is a time really, sometimes, some of you may have been quite affected by legal situations. Now's the time to get the agreements in place once and for all, because things haven't been very clear. It's also a good time to communicate. If those of you are interested in languages, great time to get involved in learning other languages. Also, learning about other cultures, learning about other peoples. Very much a time, Capricorn, for you to take on this global feeling, this international feel, which I think will be quite exciting for you. And also many of you to get more involved with your spiritual studies and everything to do with your higher learning. This is a great time for it for you, Capricorns. After about the 27th of the month, Le um, Mercury just slips into your 10th house and again, this is going to be a really good time for connecting up with people in your career. People who can further your career, people who may be able to advise you and help you. And you may find that you connect up with just the right kind of people who can help you along. So yes, Capricorns, it's a time when everything is in change and transformation, but it's going to be a good month for your work and your career. Time to put energy into that, to your finances particularly those of you looking for love, this could well be the month. And I wish you a really good month ahead and don't get too dejected. This Pluto transit can be the makings of you, the makings of you taking your own power. So I wish you a great August and I thank you for listening and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.